recorded the video. Hold on, let me tell y'all really the process. Y'all know I was going through it at a point in life and I couldn't put out music and blah, blah, blah. All the we don't gotta bring that up, but I couldn't even put out music. I didn't have nobody backing me. I couldn't do anything. Like there was no labels paying for my When I say I went in Megan Pete bank account, <laughs> Megan Pete bank account and pay for Cobra and his like <laughs> YK, W, T, F, G, O, oh, man. You got Jay, and we back. We back for another episode of Lives for the Culture, baby. And today, oh boy, over the past couple weeks, we in, we in, it, it, you literally have had to have been in another universe, uh, another world underneath a million different rocks. If you didn't hear anything about this lady's name, you feel me? Meg Thee Stallion. We already know between her, Nicki Minaj, the back and forth that was going on. But this is the first time that Meg Thee Stallion decided that she was going to go on live and say just a few things straight. But before we get into this video, though, y'all got to press subscribe. On the road to a million subscribers. But definitely road 20K. If it's less than 20K, press subscribe, press like, comment down below. Distribute, share this video to all your friends and all your family. Because like I said, uh, we're going to go ahead and watch the live. Then we're going to talk about it just a little bit more at the end. So y'all go ahead and get into the thing, though, man. I'm going to get this shit off my chest and lay it to rest. Let's go. We are number one. Like, we 
What can I even say? Like, what can I even say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Like, y'all, I know I'm going to say thank you. Because that's, that's the main thing to say is thank you. Like, number one, y'all, I didn't know what the fuck. Like, I, I did the song, recorded the video. Hold on, let me tell y'all really the process. Y'all know I was going through it at a point in life. And I couldn't put out music and blah, blah, blah. All the old shit, we don't got to bring that up. But I couldn't even put out music. I didn't have nobody backing me. I couldn't do anything. Like, there was no labels paying for my shit. When I say I went in Megan Pete bank account, <laughs> Megan Pete bank account and pay for Cobra and his, like, them, that shit, them two videos, my whole studio time for this album that's about to come out, like, all of that shit came out of my pocket. Like, this was my first time since since my mama been alive that I really carried the weight of paying for my whole shit. So, to see how much y'all love Hiss and Cobra, like, I'm like, wow! Wow! We did that. We fucking did that. Like... We didn't have no help. I really hope y'all know how much of the trenches we was in. <laughs> like, like what? I really bet it on myself. And everybody who was on my team believed in me. The hotties believed. Like, I didn't have no expectations on neither song. I just wanted to tell how I felt. I just want to talk my shit. I want to get everything off my chest. That's what the whole act one is about. Getting shit off my chest. When I say I had zero expectation, like zero, none. Like I didn't, none. I didn't know what y'all was going to think. Like, and to be, you know, honest, like I was like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I just want to say my piece. Like, I just want to, I just want to say what I feel. <laughs> And that's what happened, and y'all, y'all loved it, and y'all ran it up. And I just want y'all to know how grateful I am, always. Grateful, thankful, appreciative, because what the fuck? Like, I really feel like a very special connection to the hotties, because y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all have genuinely been with me since I came out. A lot of y'all have really been with me since the ciphers, like, since I was rapping on the roof of anything since I was rapping in front of the car. Like a lot of y'all have been with me since it, we was a thought. So to be here, I just am so appreciative. Like I'm so happy. Like I really appreciate y'all. The hotties gets down. <laughs> and, and, and I really wanna say thank you to the people who are new hotties, the people who were not even hotties that even came together to do this. Like, motherfuckers had their own shit to do, their own people to worry about, and they fucking came and they supported us. Like, people who wasn't even hotties was like, bitch, we got your back. Ain't that your friend? <laughs> The hotties, the hotties popped out and people that was not even hotties popped out and they, I'm just so happy. I, I just want to say thank you. I'm so happy. And I just want to keep doing great for y'all. I want to keep on popping my shit. I can't wait for y'all to hear the album. Y'all are going to scream. Like y'all are going to be so happy. Y'all are going to be happy. Y'all going to, you're going to gag. Y'all gonna cry, y'all gonna scream, y'all gonna twerk. The tour is gonna be great. Like, everything's gonna be great. And what I really want the hotties to do is focus on being nice and kind and positive. Cause bitch, that's what we do. The hotties are positive. 
We don't even fuck around in the negative space. Hold on. <laughs> I just ran into something crazy. I'm sorry. Kellen. Yeah. Okay, because I told the hotties that I was going to put the, the, the straw in the Hennessy. You going to grab that? Yes. Drinking Henny out the bottle. Let's get ratchet. I just want the hotties to know I'm just so grateful. The hotties, we have been through a lot. The hotties have been through a lot. So I'm so happy to the motherfucking hotties that really stuck with it through the trenches. They told us we wasn't getting another top 10 they told us we couldn't do it solo they told us they told us a lot of shit they 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 tried to fuck over us hotties they said we couldn't do it <laughs> they told us that and y'all said bitch boo fucking boo i'm so happy hotties y'all did y'all big one hold on neek hold on Danae up in here? Dominique and Danae up in here? I wish I was at my house. I'm going to wait for Kellen to get back up here with the... With the Hennessy! We got the Hennessy! <laughs> we got the Hennessy! Because Houston, Texas, we on the goddamn map. Texas in general, goddamn. We in this hoe with the goddamn country accent. <laughs> get a shot right now where is the hotties in they shots all the hotties is to go get a shot right now y'all better have y'all shot right now hold on let's get ooh, ooh. <laughs>
Let me tell y'all something. Now that I know y'all know how to work hard. Yeah, we can put y'all to work. Come on. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> y'all know this was number one in the hood. This is not, you're in the hood now, baby. You're in the hood now, baby.
with no birds. I No, because that that was one of them ones. That was one of them. That was one of the motherfucking ones. Okay, hotties, hotties. I'm gonna start doing something new with us, but not today. But before the album come out, I want to start doing some. What y'all think about this? What y'all think about that? Oh, he's gonna give him a sneak peek. They already know this song. I ain't gonna play that. Somebody said play WAP, so I'm gonna play that first. Because get your boots and your coat. But it's wet ass.
<laughs> if you ever see me perform, you know that's my favorite part to perform. Okay, Which Holly's. Part? I seen somebody say play a snippet. Yeah, Neek, you see me? My girl Neek. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> It's my girl Neek. Neek on her shit. Neek on the beat. Neek said she know her steps. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you was already a hottie and you was already on here before, then you already heard this song. It's just not out yet. And I like the way that y'all liked it. So I'm going to play this and I'm going to play his again. Ski, you need to relax. You. You need to go to bed and wake up and try again. So right now we're about to play Toxic, a song that's not out yet. more shit in there his had a lot more shit but which y'all heard is very condensed just saying
her first time on live i believe since everything's going on this was her first time kind of really talking first time kind of being you know seen and i will say what i believe i said uh, last week when i did the i did the bigfoot reaction meg has literally been quiet uh used it as promo um used it as marketing i feel like she did it right she responded in the right way you know, you can't always, you definitely, definitely can't always get the best response, you know, when fire fighting fire. You feel me? Um, it's only going to keep blowing. It's only going to keep growing. So, uh, my whole opinion with this live today, like I said, I felt like she wanted to talk her smack, which she deserves to do. His being number one, let, let's, you know. That's been what Nikki's been throwing out there the whole time. And shout out to Nikki, shout out to Meg. I love them both to be, you know. But Meg, Meg is taking the right course with this, I believe. Um, and she wanted to get on live and celebrate that. You can't be mad at that. She went through a few of the classics. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm happy to say that it wasn't really a, a response. But she definitely did at least acknowledge what was going on, man. So y'all gotta leave comments down below. How y'all feel about this, man? Which approach do y'all? Did y'all want her to go in? Did y'all want her to be shady? Did y'all want her to basically do another uh, live that Nikki did, being real direct and talking? You know, 
Or do y'all rock with the way that she took it? Do y'all rock with, with, with the way that she just been maximizing, getting the eyes going? Um, but they ain't really been feeding into it. So like I said, y'all leave comments, y'all distribute, share this video to all your friends and all your family, man. I love and appreciate y'all, man. There's so much more in the way.